Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we started off the game as Bigby Wolf, who is the sheriff of Fable Town, as we got called to an apartment that belongs to Mr. Toad, uh, as there was some noise in one of the apartments upstairs. We went up there and found the woodsman knocking a woman around who seems to be some lady of the night. Uh, we knocked the woodsman around and... You know, he ended up with an axe at the back of his head, and we made sure that the lady was basically safe. We never got to know her name, but uh, chances are we probably won't be the last time we see her. And that's basically where we are right now. So we're at the Woodland Luxury Apartments. Let's see what this says. Luxury Apartments? Wish they wouldn't advertise that. I want to make sure... Yeah, you can see my mouse. Good. Stay off the grass. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Stay off the grass. There's no walking on the grass. No white's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. I swear. Why'd you hide one? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and... It would just make my life a lot easier. Just... please... Promise me? Sure. I promise. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you... for trusting me. Really, I... I appreciate it. So you can tell, like, um, I, I kind of mentioned at the end of the last episode that, you know, we are the big bad wolf from the from the fairy tales whether it's red riding hood or three little pigs that kind of thing any big bad wolf you can think of that is us from the story and we are seen as like the villain of uh, of the fable verse you know what i mean of a story verse i believe it's called um but we're trying to our job as a sheriff is um you know it, it's pretty ironic that they would put us in this position. Hey, you wink. Grimble. Probably for the best. Suit of armor. Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Oh my god. Uh, good thing we got this security guard here. Been a while since I got any mail. Let's take a look. Seventh day in a row. I mean, would you want any mail, though? Unless they're like coupons, who really wants, like, you know, bills and shit.
Let's see what we got. We got G Grimble. So Grimble. I don't know who Grimble is. I don't know who Flycatcher is. Uh, so Mr. and Mrs. Beast. B Blue. Like the little boy blue. J Horner is Jack Horner. B Beard is Blue Beard. That's King Cole. S White is Snow White. And we're not even on here. That's so funny. All right. Oh, what is that? Oh, Big B's name tag. It's fallen off. That's so funny. Damn thing fell off again. Damn oh. thing fell off again. I I thought we could pick it up. So while I, I do remember the story, I don't remember the finer details of the game. Um, it's been a couple of years, so it's you know it, it, it's it's good to play this game again. Oh, Bigby, hey, wait up! Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope, haven't seen her. Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Again, I know what's going on, but I'm playing as if I have no knowledge and how I would actually play. If I make a promise to someone, I'm going to try my best to keep it. Big B's apartment. <laughs> Damn, should have cracked a window. If only you could do that with your cell phone, just... I mean, I guess you could put it on silent, but... Yeah. Freezer. Let's open up the freezer. Damn it. I mean, it's your own fault for not filling up the ice. The ice tray. Why do I even own this? Puff and puff. A smaller one. I got me some huff and puffs. Bluebeard folder. Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Chinese. Oh God! How old do you think that is? Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Yeah. The fan. We gotta turn on the fan. Works. Got a smoke? Thanks. 
Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be dramatic. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. I just want some rest. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Everyone hates me? So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair. But it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Not my fault. It's my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, no. Not everyone. Name one. There was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Give him the drink. Thanks, Big B. I love the interaction uh, between him and Colin because it really, again, it boils down to the mentality that, like, um, the big bad wolf is, like, vilified still. He's, like, the big villain of the story verse. Um, and even in the real world, even when, like, they've all hit rock bottom and they're trying to make ends meet, he is still feared like he just wants to be a good guy he just wants to be seen as like the person that helps everyone but you can't change people's memories no matter how much you try no matter how much you want people to think that you've changed they still hold on to to those uh, early memories
Big B. Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Slow Just down. Just slow down. No, keep up. We need to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. By the way, in case you haven't guessed, that's snow from that's Snow White. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in, and he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this, I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with, then... I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Examine the neck. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. And you would think everything points to the Huntsman, right? Is it Huntsman or Woodsman? I don't even know. What is... It's... a ribbon. There's... some kind of symbol here. Huh. I... I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Yeah, it's really tragic, though, eh? The girl you saved last... just hours ago ends up dead on your doorstep. I'm... I'm sorry. This is just... so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Let's investigate more. We still have some time. 
I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Let's talk a little bit to Snow. Hey, Snow. You alright? Yes, thanks. But you should hurry, we don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. So, yeah. Don't think there's anything this way, no. So there was a blood trail leading this way. Say it's been here an hour, maybe. There's a scrap of fabric. No signs that it's been here long. I mean, I don't know how you would know that, but fabric looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. some loose trash and fence post yep. with some blood, blood on it. someone might have hopped the fence got caught then left the trail I found earlier blood still wet sharp enough I think that's everything. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone it's brought her just here. So awful. Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Uh blood on the fence I found blood on the fence back there someone hopped over okay good that's solid so someone from the outside well at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands I'm gonna have to tell crane about this as long as King Cole is gone he's acting mayor he needs to know and he's going to find out anyway so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Okay. Quite a mystery that we've stumbled into. And again, very tragic. The girl we just saved hours earlier ends up dead at our doorstep. Um, who could have done it? And it's clear to see that it was someone not uh, from the apartments. Or maybe they just wanted to make it seem that way. Who knows? But the game is afoot, as they say. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. 
Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.